Righto, calm down. It's just another episode of Daily Black TV. Righto, g'day Zwifters. Um, I'm here in my pain cave. Just about to jump on for a quick spin around the course for the Triavic race coming up this Saturday. Take you through a few things quickly just to show you how I've set myself up here. Um, just to make sure everything's running smoothly and you can jump on and have the best time of your life. So first thing I do is I jump on the bike for five minutes just to get legs ticking over. And then I'd hit up this bad boy here, loosen up the legs, the back, the shoulders, and then back on the bike for the main set. So I'll quickly take you through the bikes up and how I've got things laid out the way they are and let you know why I do it that way. Um, I'm all about efficiency with this, there's no mucking around, in and out, get the job done. So the first thing's tyre pressure. Just pick a tyre pressure and stick with it every time you ride so that your power output is the same. The pressure that you choose doesn't really matter um, as long as it's reasonable, as long as it's consistent every time you get on the bike. So make sure you pump it up every time you jump on. You want to make sure you've got a really good Wi-Fi connection. Um, You've got a lot of things going on here. This trainers talking to computers and computers talking to companion apps and all that kind of stuff. So your Wi-Fi is really important. Um, so have your modem as close as possible to, to, to your setup as you can. Um, and also, if you've got devices that are Bluetooth, make sure they're only activated on one device. Because if they're trying to skip between devices, that's when they start dropping out and you start having troubles. So if your uh, train is Bluetooth activated and you've got your laptop, and your phone there, make sure it's only connected to either your laptop or your phone and try and forget it on any other devices to save yourself any issues. You'll notice here my shoes are already on my bike. My athletes will tell you these rarely come off. Um, there's, you never miss an opportunity to practice transition so keep them on. Every time you get on and off the bike you can practice your transition. Uh, then we're up here, real important for indoor, indoors lifting. Have a tower, even two. You sweat bucket loads when you're inside, so make sure you've got a towel to sort, soak that all up. It also protects the uh, hardware under there from rusting. And also really important, get the biggest fan you can find and put it on the highest speed you got. You might feel a bit chilly in the morning when you're starting off, um, but bear with it. Um, you're going to sweat like a... You're going to sweat a lot. So make sure you've got the fan blowing. Uh, keep things cool. Right, so you've got to make sure you've got your tucker sorted as well. I've got an uh, array of stuff here. <coughs> She's not going to be a long ride tonight, probably don't need too much. I've got myself a banana and a muesli bar. Um, this is for my morning ride, not for now. This one, coffee. And this one over here, a bit of coffee. Um, and plenty of water. You want loads of water uh, when you're inside. You sweat buckets, like I said, so make sure you're replenishing everything you're sweating out. Aiming for you know anywhere around about 800 mil per hour that you're on the, on the Zwift. Um, a good way to know whether you've had enough to drink is to weigh yourself before and after. Um, so before you put your kit on, weigh yourself in the nud, jump on the scales, see what the kgs are. And then after you ride, take your kit off, jump back on the scales after you've dried off a bit and weigh yourself. And if you're in deficit, then just have a bit more water. Uh, you can't really have too much that way. So everyone's nutritional requirements are going to be really different. Um, and what you can handle while you're on the bike is going to be different as well. Um, I've, got a, I've got a really good iron gut, so I can pretty much eat anything I want. Bananas, sandwiches, chocolate, pretzels, chips, you name it. Whatever gives me some carbs. Uh, but you need to use what works for you. So trip, test things out. Make sure they do work. It's a great time to test things out when you're on Zwift and you're close to the loo. So if something doesn't work, you're not far off on an emergency stop. It's better than being out in the middle of nowhere and having a duck behind a tree, I tell you. So a good rule of thumb for the amount of food that you need is roughly one gram of carbs per kilogram of body weight per hour. It varies between people and the intensity you're doing and that kind of thing. But if you can aim to have that much food ready and prepared and sitting here ready for you to go, um, then you're not gonna run short, so that's a good thing. Also make sure you've got plenty of water. Um, you're gonna sweat a lot more indoors than you will ever do outdoors. So um, double up on the amount of fluids that you're gonna drink. Um, water, sports drink, um, whatever you're going, whatever's going, um, just stay on top of it. Another really important thing for me to keep me motivated through Zwifting, the speaker. I love my music, so I love a bit of uh, heavy metal pumping out when I'm riding through the virtual worlds. Um, you know, just keeps you motivated and keeps you going. Uh, helps with the sprints and the kings of the mountains. 
uh, to have a bit of extra motivation there. Whatever your choice of music is, you can't be wrong with your choice of music. It can be, but well, I might not like it, but you won't be wrong if you like it. Uh, so Zwift do regular updates with their software. So make sure you're always running the best iOS system or the latest iOS system um, that your device is using. So make sure that's up to date before you jump on. But also check down the bottom corner here. Just check this little number um, is the latest version of the Zwift app. You can check if you're running the latest version by just jumping into your um, app store. So zip out of there, hit your app store up, Zwift, version ID there. So 56270 is my latest one for this. And just make sure that matches up with your little number down there, which it does. So I'm ready to go, you beauty. I was talking to someone the other day, telling them about the ridiculous amount of devices I've got up here when I'm coaching a session. Um, I wouldn't use the Zwift app on the same devices I'm using Zwift for. So this is the, um, the Zwift companion app. So you can use this to give ride-ons and message people in the group. Um, it also has your speed, cadence, uh, the power output, everything in there as you're riding along. You can move the settings up and down as you go if you're finding it a bit harder. Uh, it's just a good handy one to have maybe on your phone or your laptop as you're riding as well. Righto, I'm gonna jump on and finish this bad boy off. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them in the next few weeks. Otherwise, this has been another episode of Davy Black TV.